Former basic school teacher Rochelle Jones Cameron, who was found dead at her home in Crofts Hill, Clarendon, is laid to rest. Several people showed up to show their last respect to her, and not even the rainfall could have stopped them. Russia's passing is another reminder of that. Use our time wisely. Relatively speaking, Rochelle Jones Cameron's life was short, 41 years to be exact. But from all indications, her years were well spent. And for that reason, her family is proud and grateful. Rochelle has touched the hearts of everyone she comes in contact with. We are grateful for the time we had with her. And we know that her presence will be deep in this. In Reverend Milton Bailey's eyes, the passing of Jones Cameron should be a reminder to appropriately use one's allotted time. None of us know how much time is allotted to us, only the one who allots the time. So, the psalmist prayed that we need to appropriately use our time. And Russia's passing is another reminder of that. Use our time wisely. A number of relatives and friends gathered at a Thanksgiving service on Saturday, April 15, 2023, to pay their last respect to Jones Cameron. They did it at Paradise Baptist Church in Crofts Hill, the same church that Jones Cameron attended while she was alive. Her brother, Bruce Jones, broke down in tears as he, while co-presenting the eulogy, tried to remember how his mother found his sister dead in the bathroom at home on March 13. On March 13. On March 13. His sister, Shakira Jones Hall, picked up the slack relating Jones Cameron's final hours. She woke up and was getting ready to go to her cook shop. When she was later found on the floor in her bathroom by my mom, Rochelle's life ended abruptly. Jones Cameron, born September 17, 1981, was the first child produced by the union between Otensia Grant and Lascelles Jones. She initially attended Crofts Hill Basic School in Clarendon and later Crofts Hill Primary. Jones Cameron transitioned into secondary education at Claude McKay High School but completed it at Kellitz High. Thereafter, she took on the world of work. Rochelle, from this very early age, demonstrated bravery grit and independence. This was demonstrated when she took on her first employment at Manhattan House in Kingston. Very quickly, she, she realized though, this was not her passion. Russia realized that education was the great equalizer. And so she returned to Cross Hill for further academic pursuits. After returning to her home community of Crofts Hill, Jones Cameron enrolled at the state-owned Heart Skills Training Center in the nearby town of Kellitz, Clarendon. There, she studied food nutrition and housekeeping. Her brother said she also used the opportunity to pursue additional CXE subjects. We shall be
Jones Cameron's family stated that she participated in an overseas work program and later started working as a pre-trained teacher at Crofts Hill Basic School. While teaching at the school, she, using the CXC subjects that she had amassed, matriculated to Michael University College. She graduated from that institution in 2017 with a diploma in early childhood education. Jones Cameron remained at Crofts Hill Basic School for 11 years. It is said that she loved children, all children, though she had none of her own. She loved genuinely and deeply. She was especially good with special needs children and or those that we consider underprivileged. Rochelle had the opportunity of taking care of one such child on the autism spectrum when she came to Canada. This task took patience, love, and understanding, character traits most here could attest that Rochelle was never short on, especially when it came to children. Jones Cameron also had great skills in the kitchen, something she learned from one of her grandmothers at an early age. When Rochelle was just two years old, she went to live at a family house at Daggers Lane Gate with her grandmother, affectionately called Moo. Rochelle had a special place in her heart for Moo and vice versa. And Rochelle soon started bonding and learning some of Moom's special skill sets. Rochelle developed a passion for cooking because of Moom's influence. Having this foundation, Rochelle became the official cook in the family. And for every major family occasion, we knew we could count on Rochelle to whip up some sumptuous and appetizing dishes that everyone would enjoy. Russia knew how to prepare different cuisines that could rival any hotel or restaurant around. Jones Cameron was so good at cooking, she ended up doing it at a restaurant while spending time with her sister overseas in summer last year. Last summer, Russia came to Canada to stay with me and my family. She was able to get a job working in a Jamaican restaurant whilst in Canada. She was such a skilled cook that very quickly she ended up being the head chef at the restaurant and the owner came to rely and trust on her so much so that once she knew Rochelle would be coming in for that day, she would often take a break and leave everything in Rochelle's care. One thing about Rochelle was that she was not afraid of hard work. She did not shy away from what needed to be done, but instead she dived into work with such favor and such capabilities. When the owner found out about Rochelle's death, she grieved deeply. When she came back to Jamaica, Jones Cameron started her own cook shop instead of returning to the classroom. She operated it up to the time she passed away, leaving behind her mother, seven sisters, five brothers, and of course her husband of 11 years, Kenyatta Cameron. Rochelle and Kenyatta Cameron has been together for over 15 years. They got married on December 9, 2011. This year, December 2023, would have been their 12-year anniversary celebration of a loving, caring, bonding marriage. Lilith Manley, in a tribute, stated that her late in-law was industrious. I can attest that Rochelle was a wonderful person because I've known Rochelle over 14 years. She's indeed a hard-working woman. There is never a time that there's a work that is being carried on. Even when they were building their house in Spanish Town, if it was Ken and Rochelle alone, Rochelle would be there. She would be taking up material. She would be handing in blocks, whatever the work. If it is fixing the car, she's there even to take up a tool and hand it to him. So indeed, today, it's a sad moment. But the Bible says in everything we are to give thanks. We give God thanks for the 40 plus years that she's been here on earth and the many lives she has impacted in more than one way. Jones Cameron was eulogized as a family woman, someone who loved her relatives dearly and usually advocated for them to host get-togethers. She also believed in celebrating people while they are still alive. She was also said to be a devout Christian. She was a dedicated Christian and attended church religiously on Sundays, something she did 
all her life. Reverend Bailey, in the sermon, encouraged people to live for God. The Bible tells us, my brothers and sisters, that in God's presence, a death of the real for the dead. A death of nice in God's presence. So there are persons who think that they must, like, like shorts, they must lift it up and they must have all the parties that they can have. But the psalmist says, uh, this is where real nature is in God's presence. The Bible tells us Jesus himself said that he has come, that we might have life and have it not. Have it in its abundance that Jesus uh, gives life. Uh, that uh, anybody who wants to live uh, live it up uh, need to live it up in Jesus. For otherwise, you don't live. For in God's presence is joy. And God come that we might have real life. The Thanksgiving service, which also featured tributes from a number of other people, ended. The people got ready to leave the church for the next event, the interment. The rain started. When the funeral procession reached the family plot in Crofts Hill, the rainfall prompted a delay in the proceedings. Following the downpour, Paul Bearers removed the casket from the hearse. They brought it towards the grave, but the wet landscape complicated the task. We now commit our body to the ground, earth to earth, dust to dust, and ash to ash. And leave her soul with God, her Savior and Maker, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to life immortal. Through our Lord, who died, who was buried, but on the third day he rose triumphantly from the grave and is now even at his Father's right hand. Eventually, Jones Cameron was at her final earthly resting place. On behalf of video editor Dean Alcott, I am Horace Mills reporting from Crofts Hill Clarendon for the Jamaica Beacon. Before you go, please remember to subscribe to our channel for more stories.